that mother and baby in there are very special to me because we were there when they first came into the centre. That's Mama Abbott. And when she arrived with her little baby, she was in a shocking condition. She was very close to starvation. When she fell from the crate in front of us, it was hard to believe she was still alive. She was ravaged by hunger, wasting away with the need to provide milk for her baby. Her forest home had been ripped up and replaced with a palm oil plantation, where there was almost nothing to eat. It's where 90% of the orphans arriving at the centre are found. Mama Abut and her baby were rescued in the nick of time. A few more days and they would have died. But Lona and her team successfully nursed them back to health. Now, eight months on, Mama Abut's life is about to change. You must be pretty excited about all this. It's always good. It's nice to get anything out of the, the project. It's so lovely. How many does this leave you with at the centre, roughly? Exactly 600. Exactly 600. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, because you just oh. had, I think you had oh, just over 300 when I was last here. Mm -hmm. Well, we had 430 then. And oh, right. We had 635, but then we got one more in, just as we were going to release yesterday, we got another one in. Yeah. So we just hit 600 again. Nothing to be proud of, I must admit. No, I know. Well, it just shows, doesn't it, really? Rescued and confiscated orangutans arrive at the centre faster than Lona can release them. But at least this handful have a second chance. Maba Abut has come a long way from the palm oil plantation where she was found. And to see her now fit and healthy, and her baby looking 100% as well, that's awesome. And now, over the next couple of days, we're going to be able to see her released back where she belongs. You can imagine the trauma all these orangutans have been through. But with Mama Abbott, I saw it firsthand. Seeing her released will bring home how important the work of the centre really is.